What's up, my loves? It's Chefy Love from Mother Loves Way and Zay. Kitty. Kitty, today we're going to be making pizza. Yes, pizza. So let's get started. All right, so we're making homemade pizza. So, Zay, let's tell them what they need sauce, mozzarella cheese, water, ground beef, sugar, olive oil, bacon. Pepperoni, flour, and don't forget your yeast. Your yeast. First things first, let's get this yeast activated. So, open your yeast, pour it in your bowl, like this. Doop. Put you some warm water, not hot water, because you will kill it, but warm water. Just like that. And because you need this yeast to feed on something, use your two tables i mean your one tablespoon of sugar and that was two cups of water just like that so we're just gonna let this foam up a little and then we're gonna add our bread flour which is two cups okay we've let this foam up a little as you can see it activated as your bubbles so zayla i'm gonna give it a little stir and zayla is going to add the bread flour Slowly while I mix it, just like that. Okay. Okay, grab your oil, pour your oil in. Take your olive oil, your one tablespoon of olive oil and put it in there, just like that. And then go ahead and add some more flour. And this is two and a half cups, but you might use just two, give or take. Okay, go ahead and add the next scoop. So we're just gonna keep adding flour and mixing, okay? Okay, as you can see, I finished kneading it and I pushed the extra flour aside. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna roll it just like this on the counter. I'm just using the palm of my hand to make it into a circle. So we're gonna put it in the bowl and let it rise. Y'all know my favorite spray. Spray it just like this. And as you can see, it brought it together when I rolled it. So drop him in there and then we're gonna cover him with the towel and set it aside. We're gonna let this rise for a moment. Okay, we've let this sit for about 30 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes, let's see. Okay, it doubled in size, that's what we want. So basically, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of the flour down. Whoops. And go ahead and roll it. Just a little bit. Shoot. Just like this. Touch a little bit of your flour on there. And just roll it. We like thin crust pizza, so we're gonna try to get it as thin as we can. Then we're gonna put it on our pizza pan and they were going to put all the helpings on top. So just roll it out into a circular shape. As you can see, I kind of went square. but. I'm just go ahead and keep rolling this out till it gets thin. But if you want deep crust, don't roll it as much. Okay, so now that I roll it out, I got a little hole in it. So I'm just going to pinch it back just like that. Boop. And I'm tearing the bread. And I want to place it on our pizza pan. I put wax paper because I don't like when it's if it sticks or putting flour. I rather just remove cut it and have the wax paper so you just stretch it out like this there we go and then 
Zayla is going to put her sauce on here. This is a little secret ingredient of mine. I take Italian seasoning on my dough and I just sprinkle it around just like this. And then take you some sauce, add it just like this. We're not big fans on sauce either. So we want to put it lightly. And then Zayla, get your meat ready because you're going to add your cheese first and then she's going to add the meat. But just spread this out. But spread your sauce out. Don't get it to the edge because that's what that plump part is going to, that's going to puff up on the ends. So just smear out your sauce like this. Then Zayla's going to add some of her mozzarella cheese. We like cheese. Y'all know we love cheese. Cheesy pizza. So, okay, now that our sauce is, they're going to put her cheese. And, of course, I'm going to help her. So, go ahead, baby. She, oop, cheese it up. So, at this part, this is what's going to be on top of the pizza. Then we're going to add, she's gonna add the meat. Just want a little bit at the bottom and then yeah, let me spread just a tad more in your blind spots. Okay, just like that. Now she's gonna add some of her meat. We have ground beef, bacon, and pepperoni. Make sure you spread it out because you don't want just chunks. And of course, like I said, we want this cheesy. So we're going to add more cheese on top. So just keep adding your meat. Now that we've put all the meat on it, we're going to cover that in cheese so that it stays. It has something to stick together. Just like that. Not too much, but just enough to have your meat stick to something. Oops. And now you take it and you hit it with my fave Italian seasoning. And there you have it. A good old thin crust meat pizza. Okay, now that we're finished putting the cheese in the season on, we're going to stick this in the oven for about 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes and let it cook. Okay, now that we've taken this oh so good pizza out of the oven, we're going to take a brush and some melted butter and we're just going to brush this crust just like this. Even though thin crust is really good, the crust, but you don't want it too, too crunchy. Just like this. And then, of course, hit it with some more Italian seasoning. Just like this on the outside so that it sticks to the butter. Just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and cut it. Ooh, got my handy dandy. Now my daughter got me saying handy dandy, but I have my um, piece of cutter. I'm just gonna hold the pan, cause it's extremely hot, and cut down the center just like that. I also have a knife right here, just in case when I do it with this, it didn't go through all the way, so. Y'all see that? Cheese on the bottom and top pulling together. Okay. 
You can hear the crunch in it also. Okay. All I did was hit it with some more Italian season in my plate. I'm just gonna go back over with my knife, just in case. And just lift it. Yep. One second. Thank you, Bella. So just like that. Ooh, it's hot. The crust is browned, as you can see. The wax paper helped that at the bottom. Whoa! I'm losing the pizza. So try to make it on the plate, not the counter. And there you have it. Pizza. So Zayla, tell them what they need to know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below your favorite part. See you next time. See you next time.